What is good, everybody? So, Chelsea dropped three points today. That's right. Uh, that was a shocker result. They lose to Newcastle on a last-minute goal. And all I got to say is this. For Chelsea, uh, Tammy Abraham, William, Rudiger, and they just, and Kepa today, they just underperformed. I hate to say this, but I, in my opinion, these are the, the top Chelsea players that have just absolutely underperformed today. And there's no other way to say this. First of all, Chelsea's defense is one of the worst I've ever seen. I don't know how else to say this, but the biggest issue with this Chelsea team right now is being able to put away the game. Like, they could have easily won this game. This is this game, a Chelsea have zero excuses for this game. Absolutely zero excuses, because first of all, the midfield today, minus Conte, was just absolutely sloppy. And the only good player in Chelsea's midfield is Conte. That's the only guy that I think is the most, the, the only consistent midfielder that Chelsea had, and Conte, is keeping that Chelsea midfield together. Seriously, he, he just is. And today, the biggest issue with Chelsea was their inability to create chances. Like, creating chances is a must. If you want to get that, those three points, you got to learn how to create those chances because without creating chances, what are you going to do? Chelsea were just absolutely just uh, underperforming today. They just underperformed and a Newcastle, they deserve to win this game because they bashed to find that goal and Chelsea just couldn't create any chances and capitalize other opportunities that's the biggest issue with this Chelsea team and another thing is that uh, Frank Lampard he needs to spend some money because I don't understand what it is with Chelsea but if they want to be a good team again they got to spend some money I mean yeah they spend all that money on Pulisic but hey, it's going to take a lot more than Pulisic to get Chelsea out of shambles okay it's going to take a lot lot more than Pulisic and Frank Lampard needs to realize that seriously he just does because I mean, wow, the game was 0-0 in the 90th minute, and I thought it was going to be another draw for Chelsea, but then whoosh, that G comes at the end from, I don't know who scored that, but hey, Newcastle, they just found that G, and Chelsea today, they just lost the three points, and they need those three points, because all that matters right now is finding chances, scoring Gs, and getting those three points, and if Chelsea can't do that, then obviously there's something wrong with the team, okay, that's, that's the only way how I can describe it, because it's just like, wow, Chelsea today, I don't know how to describe their performance, and and if their defense continues to play poorly poorly like this every week then they're just going to get exposed because i feel like that today chelsea kind of got exposed against newcastle and also frank lampard needs to make better managerial decisions i think that frank lampard needs to uh get a new set of tactics in that's what i think frank lampard needs to do and in attack today chelsea were just absolutely one-dimensional they just were and Obviously, I don't think that Chelsea fans should give up on Frank Lampard yet. I th <coughs> I still think that sacking Frank Lampard isn't the answer. And um, and all I got to say is Mateo Kovacic, he doesn't deserve to be benched, in my personal opinion. He needs to get more chances for Chelsea. And if you're going to have £150 million pounds at your disposal, then what Chelsea need to do is sign players. Seriously, it's like, what are you doing with those €150 million? Euros? The reason why you have all that is to sign a player, and Chelsea need to sign a freaking player. They need to because if they don't, if they don't uh, sign any players, then what do you expect Chelsea to do? They need to start producing results. And right now, what Chelsea cannot do is just produce results. That's what they can't do. They just can't seem to produce any results because to say that they had a KDB or a Salah on their team, they would probably be in a different position. Seriously, they would just be in a very different position, and. It's hard to believe that Steve Bruce would get his first and ever win over Frank Lampard today. Seriously, it's just absolutely <coughs> unfreaking real. Okay, but a hey, Frank Lampard, if he if he still had Hazard, then he'd probably be producing more results. So I don't think it's fair to to call for Frank Lampard to be sacking because you know there's some Chelsea fans that are calling for Frank Lampard to be second. I don't think that sacking him is the answer. It's not going to do any good because Frank Lampard has already put Chelsea, made Chelsea a top five Premier League team. The only issue is the players need to start performing. It's not Frank Lampard's fault that the players today couldn't couldn't uh, capitalize on their opportunities because Frank Lampard can only do so much. So all I got to say is you all got to, you know, give Frank Lampard a chance and don't call for him to be sacked because that's just going to make things a whole lot worse for Chelsea. It's just going to make things a whole lot worse for Chelsea if they were to sack Lampard. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, but anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about this game. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.